rebel done. Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character? Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. Do you understand that we x knots must open the door first? Do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Merlin, Vivian! Ugh. Ugh. Oh no. Hmm, no doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Oh my god, say goodbye to my voice. I'm not gonna talk for a week now. It was awful. Hex not things haven't been back to ask me about the map. I wonder, is it safe? For free? Oh my, that must mean tech again. Yeah, I'm so my voice is already cracking. But before I do anything, you know, it's time for the shower. As usual. Nobody will mind if I take a quick rinse for free. I want to do this every single peach, like, thing. Oh, hee hee. <laughs> oh. This voice is killing me. Maybe I shouldn't do this every... This is actually a lot longer than I remember. Maybe I shouldn't do this every chapter. Unless you guys actually want it. Like, if you guys are vocal in the comments, then I will. But if no one's asking for it, I won't do it. I think three times is enough. All right. Let's go. Tech is waiting for us. Let's see what he wants this time. I can't believe Peach is about to, like, you know... Like, I can't believe... I, I honestly can't believe Peach... She's talking to a computer. It's like some weird dating sim. Hello, Hello Princess Peach. Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? For free. I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try and can go and see him, they'll catch me and send me back to my room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room. One floor up, take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. If you go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask for Sir Grotus? I will tell you. What is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a real weird computer. Now we're actually doing a lot more than just talking. It's more than just a bunch of uh, dialogue now. We're actually going to be exploring this b mysterious place. Oh, was that an elevator? Oh, was that the elevator you want me to go in for free? Yeah, we're actually playing and exploring around this place as Princess Peach now. So it's more than just, you know, back and forth uh, dialogue between Peach and Tech. We actually get to do stuff now. And one of them, later in the game, is an absolute pain in my ass. I hate doing it. Please wait. Just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Can't Peach fight, though? I know she can fight. She's fought in other games well before this. Now, Princess Peach. It is the room with the green lap. Very near you, disembark the elevator. Well, you know what? I guess the reason why she isn't, like, attacking them, because, like, remember, she's being held hostage. She's being, like, she's being kidnapped. So if she, uh, like, if she attacks anyone, then she might get, you know, attacked back. Because remember, she's 
and she has no idea where she is, so she has like she has nowhere to run. So I guess it's it's um best to stay put and calm when you're kidnapped like her. I didn't read that tech thing. All I know is in one of these uh, lockers there's a uniform and there it is. Uniform. Hmm. Oh, is this a uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, yes that, that is, is correct. correct. Anything else in these lockers? Doubt it. Nope, there's nothing here. Let's close it so then no one will know that we were here. And because of my OCD. Okay, let's go. In here. Peach is getting changed again. Uh, oof! I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it smells a bit. Oh. Phew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. She somehow shrunk. The x knots are only half of her height. I don't know how the hell. I better look perfect for free. So yeah, now we're kind of playing as an x knot technically. This is the closest thing to actually playing as an x knot there is in this game, and that's pretty cool. Now we're completely safe, and we can talk to these guys too. Wait, let's talk. I want to talk to this guy. Hey, slacker. What part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What? You come again? Oh, you're on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Let's talk to this guy now. What, 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 what is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy, see? I've even got an x dot clipboard here, and it says, do not disturb. Yeah, these guys are pretty funny. Now, let's see, where do we go? Oh, it's over here, I guess. So yeah, these guys are pretty funny to talk to. Now let's, ooh. I kind of want to explore this place a little bit, because we don't really get to see this place a lot, so... There you go. That's what it looks like. Nothing much here. Now, let's get back into formation and talk to this guy. E excuse me, Sir Grotus? Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm. Is something wrong with your voice, x not mm -hmm. Perhaps I have a throat lodgin. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in that room. And don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We ex not need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. So, uh, Roger, whatever. P please excuse me. Oh, that was nerving for free. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with uh, collecting those crystal stars for free. All right, let's change out of this costume for Peach. Yeah, this these things are getting pretty weird now. We're actually learning a little more of what he's trying to do. Or we barely learned anything, but... Yeah. Off with this thing! Off with your head! So all we know is that they have Peach here for a reason, and he doesn't want her to be harmed. Okay. Woo! Good old pink dress, my favorite! Good old pink dress, my favorite! Why would I ever wear anything else different? Um... I better get back quickly for free! Peach! so weird this peach is really weird because in the in mario and luigi uh, paper jam she actually said how um she doesn't but, but, like she hates her pink dress so it's like one minute she loves it then in uh, like another game she said that she absolutely hates her her pink dress and the fact that she also wants to cut all of her hair off and dye it purple that's an actual quote that both the peach said she wants to cut her hair short and dye it purple and she wants to stop wearing a pink dress I guess she got tired of it because she's wearing the same dress for so many years. Of, of course, course, after, after all, all, I was built for that purpose. purpose. Conquering the world? 
How could you? Princess, Princess Peach, Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in this world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world. But I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure. But there's also joy for free. Is, Is that, that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I, I am afraid, afraid I cannot, cannot answer. answer. Answering those, those questions, questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario of this awful plan for world domination for free. Tech, let me use the communicator for free. I, I suppose, suppose I can, can allow, allow that. that. Please, Please use the, the communicator. communicator. Send it this instant! Whoa, Peach, calm down. The message has, has been sent. sent. Well, well then, Princess Peach, Peach you have had a busy day. day. Go, Go back, back to, to the, the room, room, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Humongous! Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that that fool would be in Glitz Pit? Did you say something of rudeness? Uh, no. Nothing at all. As far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. Hello! They feel you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them and get some info we need. All right, let's hit the bushes. Uh, Bowser, what are you doing? Eek, flee! Hello? Y y yikes, this guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge. Eek, you're, you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't, wait, what? Oh, d d don't worry, Patoonie. Your big brother is here. We'll... Get through this! Oh my god, it's all! Oh, it's them! Wait, is that Puniper? That. Oh! Can we. Oh my god, we actually can't. And my cat's here! My cat's gonna jump on the bed. Please don't meow during the cutscene. Please, cat, don't do that. Oh, I know who this is. Alright, guys. Wait, what the? Click, click on the. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? You're one of the evildoers who wants a crystal star! Ha! Huh, see? I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing! How dare you! You wretched crone! I am the great puny elder! Yeep! My heart! Don't startle me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! You're both old. Take the same. Awesome! Ahem. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser? It looks as if you're dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag Thing, where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hm, Hag Thing? Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star's gone. Uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting legendary treasure to rescue some princess. And what did he call you? 
What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was not to say that, lucky lass. It's Mario, not Mario! And it's Princess... And it's not Princess Pinch, it's Princess Peach! But your senility is besides the point. The princess and treasure must be collected. Mario's trying to get it all. Princesses, a treasure, princesses, does his greed never end? That jackal, both Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! And if I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all, I swear it! Well, good luck, Bowser. <laughs> I love, like, the little things in between chapters is so good, like, the, you know, the Peach things, the Bowser things. I love those so much. They're so cool and they're funny. And my cat's probably hungry right now because she's at the door and she's yelling at me now. All right, let's see what we have to do next. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, <gasps> Guys? Look! So now, you must leave. Oh, yeah. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzales, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't fighting dirty no more. I'm going to hit the weights and take some vitamins and win the title fair and square, brother. And I'm never, ever going to lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, you rock back, brother! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met, and if you need it, I got your back. Me? I think I'll chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. He actually called us Mario Thorns! This is the only time in the game he calls us Mario, I think. And now that Grubba's out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Glitz Pit. So now Jolene is the, he's, or she's the owner now. She's no longer like um, just our manager. Now she's the owner of the whole place and that's really good, I'm glad. That's good for you, Jolene. You have tons of fans and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. See you later, friends. I'll miss you guys. It was really awesome getting to know these guys. Ooh, can I see it again? Sweet! Another crystal star! That's three, right? I have a question though. How does this Yoshi know what Rogue Port is? Er, Dez. How does Dez know what Rogue Port is? If he, she was born in the Glitz Pit. How does she know that this is, you know, I don't know how she knows this. But before I do anything, I actually want to explore this place a little bit longer. There's some stuff that I want to do and look for. I'll cut scenes out. I'll only, like, if I see something, like, like super cool, then I'll show it. If not, then, um, uh, yeah, I'll just skip ahead. So, I'll see you guys in just a little bit before I show off a few things. There, there, it, there are some stuff that I want to see. Okay, that's strange. I, I, I tried to go back in the, in the hall to see our friends, but I'm not allowed in. He, like, he does, like, the security guard just said, you're welcome back anytime, bub. And look at this! Jolene's hosting her own fight now. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, remember those two, the fuzzies and the chain chomps we fight or he fought? Look at that. So Jolene's now hosting and she, is that a unique model of hers? She's holding the microphone. That's the only time she actually does that in game. So I think that that's actually a unique um, model for her, I guess. I'm glad we showed that. And also I thought there was a, a third uh, shine sprite in this chapter, but nope, there's only two. So there's really nothing else you can do here, because I got like, every star piece and every, um, <laughs> excuse me, my voice is dying, every shine sprite. So yeah, there's really nothing much left to do here. So you know what? I think I'm going to end off the episode here, or maybe, I don't, it depends what happens. If we're forced into a cutscene, I'll end it off here. If not, I'll keep it going. So we're gonna see. I'm not gonna say anything yet, but we'll see if it ends here or not. If so, well, then yeah. I'll see you guys in just a little bit, and we'll find out if the episode will go a bit longer, or if we're gonna end it here. So we're back home in Rogueport. There's a few more things I wanna do before I actually end off the episode. 
Or, ooh, email time. Gonzalez, you got an email. Dearest Mario, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that, and that they're searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but you must try and get them all. I will gather all the info I can, Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. You're right about that, Des. It would suck. But before I do anything, before... Don't worry, guys. I will get to Luigi. And remember how I promised to, like, actually read it in, in my voice? I'm going to do it next episode. I, pro I know I promised already, but I'm going to do it this time. I promise. I absolutely promise. But before I do anything, there's some stuff that I want to um, do first. So I'll be back in just a little bit. So remember over here, right? There's a crystal star on the roof that we saw earlier that we couldn't get. Now we can get it if you... If we use um, Dizzy Des here to flutter jump over the roof, we just made it. There is a star piece somewhere up. Oh, I missed the not star piece. Shine Sprite. I thought I died for a second. Not died, but I thought I fell. Anyway, Shine Sprite here. And now that we have three Shine Sprites, I can upgrade Dizzy Des. First, we're going to do that first. And then, well, yeah. Only one more party member left. Let's power up Dez. All right, let's do it. Awesome, 20 HP. Let's check her him out. <laughs> All right, party. Yoshi, or Dizzy, I keep... No, her name's Dizzy Dez. So she learns a new attack. She has um, 20 HP now and learned a new attack called Mini Egg, which... Can I actually show off what it does yet? You throw eggs at enemies and shrink them down. Okay, that's cool. So now I'm going to end it off here. I know I still have the crystal star to put like in the door, but if I do that, it, like it'll trigger a cutscene, and then it just won't end. So I'll, I'll end it off here. And uh, yeah. So as usual, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And if you guys enjoyed, please not forget to leave, forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment me um, telling me Let's see. Hey, what are you doing, cat? My cat's here. You know what? Since okay, so since my cat is here, her name is Lily, by the way. What's your favorite breed of cat? I know this had nothing at all to do with cats, but what's your favorite breed of cat? My favorite cat? I mean, I've only ever had one in my life, and it's it's Lily, and she's a calico, so I guess I'm gonna say calicos. What's your favorite? Is it calico as well? Is it the black ones? The the, the orange ones? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yes, yeah, so what's your favorite cat? Mine's Calico, and I will. I hope to see your answers in the comments. And with that all said, I hope, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys.